Hey guys, it's Jenna G. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we're going to be working with some minced beef. We're going to be putting together a super easy, delicious, but flavor-packed dish. And that's a minced beef and spaghetti. So we're all familiar with minced beef or minced chicken and spaghetti. I'm sure about it and there's so many different variations of this one particular dish. Now if you don't need the minced beef, swap it out with minced soya or even minced chicken. But this one, we're just going to be keeping it simple. We're going to be adding some herbs to it and some roasted jiro. Yes, yeah, some roasted jiro. And those flavors in there, you guys will definitely want to stay tuned because you want to check it out and you want to definitely try it as well. So the first thing we're going to start off doing is putting that spaghetti to boil. And while that's boiling, we're going to be working on our minced beef, or if you're using minced chicken or minced soya. So I've got my minced beef here already, and the fresh herbs, I'm going to be using some freshly chopped up sives, some parsley, rosemary is going in there. Whatever fresh herbs you have, use it, because this is just what that dish is all about. I'm also going to be using some sliced up onions, some grated garlic, some ginger, some pimentos. For the seasonings, I'm going to be using some MSG free all purpose seasoning, that roasted jira, paprika, and I'm going to be cooking with avocado oil. So, to start things off, I'm going to be adding some of that avocado oil to my wok. And then, once it's nice and hot, I'm going to be adding that grated garlic the grated ginger, the pimentos, or the hot peppers, and those sliced up onions. Now I'm just going to be cooking this just for a few seconds. These will take no time at all to cook and you don't want it to burn. Then, in goes my minced meat. Followed by those seasonings that we just spoke about. So in goes that all-purpose seasoning, the roasted jira, the paprika. You can add some garlic powder as well. And if you want some spice, you can add some cayenne pepper in here as well. I'm going to mix that up there nicely. And minced beef is not going to take long at all to cook. So by this time, our spaghetti should be finished cooking. Once we have the cooked spaghetti into the wok, it's going to go. Now you can actually also use whole grain pasta here as well or any other type of uh, pasta that you want. I just prefer using the spaghetti for this. Next, we're going to be adding all those fresh herbs and remember, add as much as you like in this step. I'm going to be tossing that up there, of course, taste it and adjust it for salt. I did pour the spaghetti with a pinch of salt. So, you know, you taste and adjust accordingly. The all-purpose seasoning contains salt in it, so you don't need to add any additional. You can just add more of that if you like. Once it's finished, guys, you're just going to be plating it out, and it's that simple and super easy to get a delicious, flavor-packed dish. So this is the finished product. Now, I'm sure you're not watering, because I know when I did post this on Instagram, you guys requested the recipe for it. So it's that easy to make that delicious dish there. Super simple. Remember, if you don't need the minced beef, that's okay. You can replace it with minced chicken, minced soya, or even minced lamb as well if you want. And the key to it, all those fresh herbs that go in in there adds that extra depth of flavor. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed this super short but quick and easy recipe. I hope you will try it out as well. So as always, thanks so much for watching, guys. Keep sending me all those photos. Love receiving those photos from you guys. I share them on my Instagram and also on my Facebook. Love to see that you all are enjoying all the recipes and the videos. So thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.